LeBron, as you take the court for your first game, how are your nerves tonight? Oh, uh, you know, uh, I got a little nerves in my stomach right now, but, you know, once the jump ball start up, I'll be ready to play. The second half of our NBA Wednesday doubleheader on ESPN is set to go. <laughs> Hugs all around. He'll get his indoctrination quick enough. So was this guy, Brad Miller, transplanted over here from Indiana. So this is his new team. Bibby works it to Pedro Sayakovic. Got it for three. That's the way you open up the game. Comes LeBron James on the run. This is his best part of the game. And there's his first assist, and it's a beauty. The number. LeBron James' first shot is good. And that's good to see things that they want to do. James around a pick. Double team. And LeBron on the baseline. Two for two. Well, that's a great start, guys. I, I tell you what, I know people are talking, you know, that he can't shoot a jumper. He can score. He knows how to play the game. He's going to put the ball in the bucket. Lottie a chance for a three-point play and a great dish from Bibby. James trying to go four for four. And Christie, first team all-defensive player, blocked it. He'll get it on the outlet on the other end. 2-15 with just over five to go first quarter. Well, the way I like the Kings are playing, they got nine assists and ten first field goals. They don't care who scores, whoever gets the open, uh, whoever's up is going to get the open shot and get the pass. And perfect bounce pass for an easy left-handed layup. LeBron coming the other way off the glass, and he's four for five. Yeah, see, he doesn't need his jumper there when he can float through the lane, double pump, and knock it in off the glass. Oh, boy, Stoyakovich is in the zone. Doesn't matter if it's inside or outside. Now his second three. Davis runs right into his own screen. Turnover, and Bibby comes the other way. The dish to Miller. Kings are really showing the Cavs how you need to get out and run. Even on made bats, a lot of magic coming down. Gave a, a look one way and passed to a perfect boozer for a dunk. Here he comes the other way. There's your first James Jam of his career. <laughs> Whoa. He's not disappointing me, I'm telling you right now. He's got 10. I mean, all the hype. I was, I, I didn't know what to expect, but he knows how to play passing lanes. This guy knows in the open floor he has tremendous court awareness. Here he uh -oh. comes again. This time he dishes to his trailer, Davis. How about that? Can I stand up and light a match? <laughs> Tony Massenburg takes down the rebound. Jackson, nice crossover dribble and almost got the open shot. Lottie, the dish to Jackson. If there's a better passer as a big man, there aren't too many around better than that. I just love watching these guys play. A long contested outside jumper. Final four seconds, Lottie, the oh. shot, shot goes. And Bremer on the court, Bobby Jackson with a steal, going coast to coast. That's an awesome. These other guys like Brad Miller is going to have great chemistry because he does so many other things for his teammates. What a pass by Bobby Davis to Christie. Just looped it over everybody's head and Christie's the double figures with him. I'd like to see him again. I'd like to see him continue to stay aggressive. There's his first shot of the third and it goes. Jordan's number 23 says that's the inspiration for the number 23. Matt Jordan's first game of the NBA. He just surpassed it. How about that? to the left hand and you guys are both in here just smiling. That's just athletic there. He went up, saw Brad Miller kind of change in mid there and flipped it up with his left hand. So the big rebound and then he gives it to Christie. And Stoyakovic will be the recipient as he lays it in for his 22nd point. I don't think it was ever like this in Akron in high school. 17,000 plus up during that third quarter break. But LeBron James has been equal to his debut's task. Well, I tell you, no turnovers, 19 points. He's done everything and then some from what everybody expected. And Bobby Jackson, what a crossover. He buries it. Bobby Jackson back-to-back -back buckets. And this is what Bobby Jackson does the best. He comes off the bench, he electrifies the crowd, especially in the fourth quarter. He's a clutch player, can do it all. Inbound will come from Miles on the baseline. James straight off the pass, and he hits the outside jumper. Elliott and Jim Gray. And our ESPN crew, second half of our ESPN NBA Wednesday doubleheader. Jimmy Jackson trying to fill it from 18, and he knocks it down. He finds a play. He just fools you into thinking that he's slow. Makes you know he's laying the ball up on you. That guy's not slow. Wow.
And that's what he's got to do more often because with his size and ability and his leaping ability, he can get in that paint and just jump over people. Throw the ball and make the plays. Lottie with the trail pass to Miller. Contested inside, but he got it back and scored. That's a good Midwest attitude by my boy from Indiana. <laughs> Getting now, final few seconds, but folks, you saw LeBron James' debut. That probably is his last shot of the night. It's an air ball. And he'll hear about that, but I don't think he's going to hear about anything else because that's the only razzing he's been able to take from 17,000 fans because he's been brilliant. I, I tell you what, Brad, he's much better than I thought he was going to be, and I'm going to tell all the NBA players right now, he's much better than you think he is. I think all three of us are in agreement. We kind of looked at each other at halftime and said, Dan said, Ben said, hey, he's pretty good. <laughs>